started skating, what was I, seven, eight, six, five. I was five at the Frenchtown Roller Rink. My sister's two years older than me. She couldn't be here tonight, but she was here last year. She started skating because a friend did it, and I copied everything she did. So I was like, I want to skate. In the first couple years, I hated it. I'd always be like, let's not skate tonight. Let's go do this instead. And then I started to enjoy it maybe a year in. And then I got as far as you could in the ice, or I'm sorry, in the inlines. So in 2010, I went to the World Championships in Columbia, and I came back with a gold medal. And then after that, I went to visit my sister, who was living in Utah at that point because her boyfriend trains there for ice. And then I was like, I want to skate ice. So I didn't really grow up saying I wanted to go to the Olympics. But once I decided I wanted to switch to ice, that's what I wanted to do. The team that I'm on, we train Mondays through Saturdays, twice a day. We have Sundays as a recovery day. Every morning we're on the ice for two hours. So I get there, I warm up for an hour, jogging, biking, stretching, things like that. Then we're on the ice for two hours, and we usually have a little bit afterwards of dry land or cool down. I go home for lunch on the days that I don't work. Then I come back for the afternoon training, which is either a second ice session or a weight program or a bike, anything like that. And then on the days that I work, I do my afternoon ice session or my afternoon workout alone after my first one. And then I go right to work from training on the days that I have to go to my I don't have the racing experience of other girls. Just because I'm newer to the world circuit, I've only been on the world circuit two years, and I'm racing against people that have been on it 10, 12. You know, they didn't start on inlines, they started on ice. So for me, it's better to stay in the front. It's easier for me to try and defend and not let anyone pass me than it is to try and pass six people with two laps to go. But everyone's different. That's just what I feel works best for me. Sometimes someone will, will check you and they won't call it. Other times someone will lightly touch you and they'll call it. It's always up to the referee. It's discretion, but there's definitely contact. Yeah. For a non-contact sport, there's a lot of contact. <laughs> a lot of contact. <laughs> Once you're going faster, you have to swing both your arms just to kind of get moving more. But when the pace is slower in the beginning, you just want to stay relaxed, you know, comfortable. Both Sometimes both hands, sometimes one hand. It's just a comfort thing. Mm -hmm. You know, once the race picks up, you're usually either this hand is down on the ice or you're swinging it. Our blades are a lot more than you think. You can't just put on a pair of blades. You can you can put on a pair of blades and try and skate fast, but it wouldn't be as fast. They're very temperamental. You know, you use a rocking machine and a bending machine and a gauge on them, and they have to be to the point where you notice a difference. I'm one of two skaters, actually, that has a job. The other one being my sister's boyfriend, Keith. He's from Pennsylvania, grew up in line, switched to ice. Um, but my work is really good about it. Everyone there kind of, I come in and they cheer me up. Like sometimes I come in and I'm like walking and I'm, <laughs> my legs are tired and I'm ready to go to bed. But everyone there kind of makes it easier for me. I work with friends, really nice, great people. So, But it took me a little while to kind of get the guts to start skating. So I didn't start training full time until about September 2012. So you've only been on ice for four years, and you're already Almost. fourth in the world on an event this year. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Her second official ice meet was the Olympic trials for Sochi, which she placed fifth overall in the nation after only being on the ice for nine months. Every Olympic cycle is four years. So um, it was two years from January, this past January, when I'll skate my next Olympic trial.